Welcome to E3 Rehab. I'm Dr. Mark Sertica, physical therapist. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to perform a plantar fascia specific heel raise, discuss the research and rationale behind it, and tell you exactly how to program it. For the setup, you're gonna take a rolled up towel and place it on a step, and then start on a single leg. For balance, you can have your hands on an object or the wall in front of you. To execute the movement, Start at the bottom position. You're gonna rise up to the count of three seconds, pause at the top for two seconds, and lower back down over the course of three seconds. And then you'll pause for one more second at the bottom before repeating this movement. So it's a very slow repetition. The goal is to find your 12 rep max. If that happens to be on a single leg with body weight, perfect. However, if the movement is too hard or uncomfortable, you can try two legs. If that's still too difficult, you can perform the movement from the flat ground. If it's too easy, you can hold a weight in one hand or load a backpack up with weighted objects like books. So what's the research and rationale behind this? The goal of the exercise is to maximally load the plantar fascia by further activating the windlass mechanism with the towel under the big toe. This pre-positioning and movement of the big toe into extension increases the load on the plantar fascia as demonstrated by Carlson and colleagues in 2000. Why would you wanna increase the load on the plantar fascia? Well, plantar fasciitis is better thought of as plantar fasciopathy, which means that we treat it more like a tendinopathy because inflammation isn't the primary driving factor. It's more about load exceeding your capacity or tolerance. Some people need to initially reduce their load by reducing their running mileage, hours on their feet, etc. However, eventually it's important to increase that load to increase your capacity and tolerance. And that's where this exercise comes into play. The idea is that if you improve the capacity of your plantar fascia, your foot, your ankle, your calf, gradually over time, then you can also gradually do more activities that are meaningful to you, such as the walking, standing, and running over time. There is data by Rathliff et al. in 2014 and Real et al. in 2019 that support this exercise. The programming is quite simple. I'm gonna provide a very structured approach and a more flexible approach. The frequency for both approaches is going to be every other day to allow for 48 hours of rest between sessions. So you could do it Monday at 10 a.m., Wednesday at 10 a.m., Friday at 10 a.m., etc. The tempo, I already mentioned, three seconds up, two second pause, three seconds down, one second pause, and repeat for both approaches. For rest, you wanna take a two minute break minimum between each set. For the structured approach, weeks one and two, you're gonna aim for three sets of your 12 rep max. Weeks three and four, four sets of your 10 rep max. Weeks five through 12, five sets of your eight rep max, and you'll continue to add weight as you get stronger. For the flexible approach, you're gonna perform three to five sets of six to 12 repetitions to failure or very close to it. You're gonna to aim to progressively add more load over the course of 12 weeks. In terms of pain for both approaches, you want the exercise to be tolerable, roughly a three out of 10 pain or less, and no worsening the next day. If either happens, it doesn't necessarily mean that you damage anything, but you want to scale back so that you fit those criteria. If you want more detailed information, a private Facebook community where you can ask me questions, and a program that includes strengthening of the entire lower body that can be done at home or the gym, make sure to check out our program that I'll link in the description. One other thing to note is that if you didn't want to use a rolled up towel, there is a nice device called the fasciitis fighter made specifically for this type of heel raise. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bells, and leave any questions or comments down below. Peace.